It's a pleasure for me to interview a Magnus Shevin, uh, more knowledge with Spartacus yeah, in Lazy Town. And what happened with the kids, with girls, and uh, about your food and your purpose? Um, my, I always uh, have been working with kids for a long time. I've met millions of kids, and kids are the same wherever you go. They love to move. If they don't move, something is wrong. So, and if they, uh, they, it was difficult in the lazy town at the beginning to say to a kid, if you eat this apple, you, you're going to be healthy when you are uh, 21. The kid think, I'm never going to be 21. Uh, they don't even know there's a weekend coming up. So it was a big challenge. So, but if you motivate them, they start to eat the food, the vegetables. If you call it sports candy, dulces onions, they, they love it. And then, and if there's a sound with it, when you move, and you turn it into a game, they love it. Why this idea? Why apple is uh, very good for health and no sugar for kids? I am, um, my son is six years old and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, I, 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 I always talk to kids about like, the more you touch the food, the more unhealthy it gets. So if you change it, so if you have a fish, you fish it, you eat it, it's really good. If you cook it a little bit, it's very nice, you give it nine points. If you, if you, if you fry it, you get five points. If you put it in a can, you get two points. It's better to eat the can. So it doesn't look like a fish anymore. So that's why kids understand that. You turn it into a game, and if you speak to a kid, you say to a kid, you have to clean your room, you're a messy kid. You say that for five years? They are never going to clean the room. They think like, I'm a messy kid, I'm not going to do it. So you have to speak differently to a kid. You have to say, clean your room because you are organized. And you say that for five years, they are going to think, I'm organized. They're going to clean the room. So I think it's, how, it's about communication. So I think everything is about communication. And you start with kids, and then they're going to be parents, and then we change the world. And now social media, I give you for example, in my mind, wherever you go around the world, men push women down everywhere in the world. And that is the same with every in the world. I think now in the social media is changing that. Certainly women have a huge voice, they are stand behind each other, changing it. And that is a good news. So I think the next generation is going to be much better. Finally, Magnus, uh, you think that you can change the world with this? Uh, Lazy Town has a huge impact on the world, huge impact. Uh, whatever I go around the world, kids are bringing me food in Mexico, they're showing me movement, they understand the difference, they start to talk about it. It takes a long time to change the world. And, um, but I want to move the world. I don't really want to change it, I really want to move the world. So I want to move families, move. yeah, <laughs> move the kids so you are, oh, not status quo. I think when you're in status quo, you are in trouble. It's so like water should be a river. So uh, I think life should be like that. So uh, the world is good, but we just need to move it a little bit. Like, ah, move this part here, fix it a little bit. And then, and Lazy Town has enormous impact on kids around the world, through different cultures. It doesn't really matter because kids are the same, parents are the same, people are the same. The only thing we change is politics and money and corruption. That changed it. Thank you. Thank you. Magnus or Spartacus? Magnus. Yes. Both. What do you think? Both. <laughs>